Hello and welcome and thanks for stopping by to check out uh, this tutorial of creating an ASP.NET uh, e-commerce application uh, This is your host uh, Amar And I hope you enjoy uh, our time with us Now please make sure you subscribe to, to this channel you like uh, this video So we can keep uh, on giving you more and more uh, new materials every day We try to do a daily video Please let me know in the comments what you think so far uh, I started so far with the ASP.NET e-commerce uh, course Which is totally free on, Udem uh, on YouTube Sorry. Uh, please share it with your friends uh, Come each day and uh, we will try to publish more and more free courses on YouTube Please check the description for uh, our website Make sure you sign up to our uh, mailing list and so on Now sorry for being too late and let's get to work Now we will uh, go ahead and create a new ASP.NET Core application I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna give this application the e-commerce just the name for the solution and I'm gonna call the project of web app now as soon as I hit create I will be presented with options uh, to select from an ASP.NET application now there are other uh, application and options like angular react and so on hopefully in the future we are uh, creating the same course using angular but for now we will be going with mvc so i'm gonna have uh, docker support also to help you understand docker throughout uh, this course also for free and i'm gonna hit now create to have my uh, application created uh, I'll, for now I'll disable HTTPS uh, just because like I want it to be created much faster and also maybe if we upload it somewhere I don't want to deal with certificates so now I have my application created and if we just uh, look deeper inside the uh, ASB.NET uh, uh, MVC application let me bin this and let's walk through the application now first thing first we have the dependency tab that is like linking to us the new git packages the SDK and the Rosalind uh, analyzers to help us like this will show you the warnings and hints inside your code uh, the new git is the new git packages that you have uh, like inside your application and uh, the SDK is the referenced uh, .NET SDK for this application which is uh, .NET Core and ASP.NET Core now also we have the properties which contain the launch settings uh, pretty much like this JSON file configure how your application run when you debug it the dub root uh, fol uh, folder actually contain all the static items for our own uh, application notice that here we add all our own items also we have the uh, controller right here the controllers folder contains the ASP.NET uh, controllers for the MVC it render our views and so on now also we have the models the models folder just contain the entities for now it just contain this empty validation entity also inside the views folder we have the .cs HTML files the razor files uh, inside here that we can like create HTML with it and add the razor command to it if we come down here we have the app setting full file now if you expand it you will notice that we have the development as well now there are essentially no difference between this and this but 
each environment shall have its own configuration and here you need to specify that configuration now here we come to docker now in case you don't know docker docker is essentially the mainstream let's say uh, program for uh, creating uh, containers and it has a really nice support for asp.net core and i always create my application with docker docker give you much more flexibility than just having uh, a raw application uh, and this raw application like uh, if you deploy it somewhere uh, you need to add things specify uh, an SDK maybe you need to install the SDK uh, build tools and so on which is like uh, I think it's too much overhead uh, if you have like multiple environment to deploy to and I think for e-commerce not using docker is really really uh, not a good idea because docker will make your life much easier you can deploy it to azure uh, you can deploy it locally uh, wherever you go you can just like give anybody uh, this uh, container this image whatever and it will be running smoothly and have all the tools that you need inside it so docker is really really a useful thing and I also recommend that you always create your application with docker support now we have the program.cs uh, which is essentially uh, the let's say the self host for our own application and we have the startup.cs file now inside the startup if you notice we have two main methods the configure services and the configure the configure services if you notice from the comment uh, right here you add the services you add, specify the dependency injection and all such things inside over here and here you configure your request http pipelines so i can come down here specify maybe a course policy so i can come down here add course after I add course I come down here and I say app.use course and here I specify my options for the uh, course uh, application okay and I can control it so this was like uh, a quick example I'll just remove them since we don't need them okay so this was a really quick example for our own uh, project and this is the setup that we will be uh, working on throughout this course now before we continue and carry on with this application we will need to come down here to manage new git packages now i will be uh, working with the entity framework for our database and also uh, like SQL Server. Now there are many uh, tools for your uh, application that you can test uh, for your data access. Again, Entity Framework for me uh, is like out of the box support. There are Dabber. Uh, there are many other ORMs you can choose from and uh, install to your application. Uh, this make no difference in my opinion. Now I have uh, installed Entity Framework. Notice you need to go to Microsoft.EntityFramework.Core.SQL.Server and if we head over to the dependencies, notice we now have the support of Entity Framework Core for SQL Server uh, inside our own application so it shall be uh, installed okay uh, now okay uh, we need or we don't need it's not uh, a requirement but there is a nice tool that is called stackify middleware uh, this stackify middleware tool 
will allow you to monitor all the uh, SQL calls and queries uh, from your application and have that uh, running inside your application. Now it's set up a process is really really easy. Just install the Stackify middleware to any uh, .NET Core application. Now also make sure you have installed the Stackify prefix. You go to their website and uh, again uh, this tool is for free and uh, let me tell you that I'm not like an affiliate uh, with them. They don't pay me to do anything for them. Okay. So just install this the Stackify middleware and when you run your application you will be able to trace out your SQL queries and your SQL calls now we have set up the application what I would like to do is the following I would like to do a quick run just to show you how the application actually will look like now if you notice over here let me just show you we have each time we run our application we specify some docker command that command will actually build our own application so now we have our own application up and running and it's running inside a container and if you notice it's, you don't really see any difference between the containers and regular running okay now also I want to show you the power of stackify okay let me refresh this now in case stackify it's not working let me do a refresh over here now uh, you shall see a stackify uh, header a response header but I don't see it okay I think yeah okay we actually missed a really important step for using stackify and this step shall be like coming down here and we shall say use stackify or oh, we actually need to register the middleware uh, let's come down here I brought you the command we need to just make sure that we added the use and we shall be able now to see the each call each time we do uh, to our application now uh, this might happen if you like try to refresh and so on we just check uh, the network over here okay I can see the stackify ID but it's not running now this might be because we are running it inside a container but something really easy to do is not running it inside a container especially if you want to have debugging capabilities so I'm gonna come down here I'll go to my uh, debug option I can just use either IS Express or just a normal uh, web app a project running make sure that you have sufficient uh, permission I'm gonna call it e commerce hopefully I'm spinning it right I'm gonna save this uh, let's have it over here let's change the run configuration okay I think no this is not like I don't uh, have a script in this course and so on uh, I'm just uh, like doing it play by play so excuse me if <laughs> if you see any errors so we're gonna run this uh -huh. I guess we having an issue with the oh, let's close this now this might have been for you just I hit the properties yes I think the settings 
is it stuck okay uh yeah okay we need to do it by hand unfortunately okay now we have running it inside is express and i'm expecting that to show you each request yes finally we have some data now uh, stackify is one of the tools we will be using throughout this course to help you notice it's even show you what kind of response that you are receiving it show you all the calls that has been executed how much time did it take to each call also more debug information like if I come down uh, over here refresh it I think this one will not work this one will actually work notice that each uh, request we can see it and we can see all the debug information that we have specified now this was the first introduction this is the project setup and uh, the initial work for this uh, course I hope you enjoy uh, the lecture or the tutorial uh, we're gonna deep uh, dive much uh, better in the next few lecture I don't want it to make it like very long for you I want to make it like small pieces each tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel and uh, stay tuned each day we will be publishing a new video on tutorials excel thank you for watching